Welcome to August. It's Sunday, August 1st, and I am in the greenhouse because, because I'm going to most use it to grow things between September and March. So I got to get things ready. I already been doing a bunch of work and I thought, I'm going to share with my friends, let them see what I'm doing now. So, whew, let's get going. quite a workout and I've been in here long enough that the Sun is fully up and running the swamp cooler full bore <laughs> which makes me happy because it's gonna be a hot a day <laughs> so that was just that one section I was trying to get the chair I'm sitting in the chair next to it, which I realize is sitting higher, I don't have a level off. I have a straight one. I can cut straight, and I can sew straight, but I cannot level the ground until I walk on it. And I realize sitting in this chair, when I try to get up, I have to kind of go uphill. So the next area will be more clear, kind of, pulling the center towards that side over there. 
And as you saw, there were uh, lots of rocks in that dirt. And we took a little walk over to the duck drain. Cause I don't want them really, that's really yucky water. Uh, so I'm going to make it, I believe it's called a French drain. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's just full of rocks. So all of that area is gonna eventually be full of rocks. I have multiple piles of rocks just waiting to be shoveled into my wagon and taken over there. I will share that with you as the week goes on. And you know, I wanted to talk to you. My last video was 37 minutes long. So I might divvy up and give you give you a video on Monday and Wednesdays. Yeah, I could do that. I am getting the greenhouse ready because my growing season is September to March in here during the year. Uh, my houseplants love it in here. I don't think I'm gonna have any issue this winter, but we'll deal with that because we haven't tried to grow things in here in the winter. So I may have to put some plants at Bob's place. And I can bring some back into my place, but not a, not a, not a many. Apparently when I get really tired, I speak a like of that. So that's what I did on Sunday. Stay tuned. I have not even thought about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Right now, it's siesta time. <laughs> Real quick, it wasn't just all that work in the greenhouse. I did some work before that because I had gotten back with Buddy and the sun still wasn't up over the mountain. I worked on the corner where the gate's going to be. Okay? And there's a cactus that I do not want him running over, which he's come really close to, the water guy. He's come really close to a number of times. So I moved out some boulders that I couldn't really move any farther. Took the big rocks and made an area of rocks to kind of redirect the driveway a little bit. I'm hoping this will work. Then... I also, a project that is, but hasn't come to fruition, it's been a little bit of work over the last, the time I've been here. It's my, what I call my, my side driveway, or my front driveway. I can't really get my truck in it very easily because of the way it is. So, it also has my soaking tub that... I want to get operational before the summer is over. I've been waiting on the cow fence because as soon as I put water in there, now it's cows. I'm going to put a cover on it, but a cover will not keep those cows out. They will just knock it off, and I don't want it to have... So I'm going to make a different kind of cover. But my soaking tub, I'm going to use the rocks that are lined up in my driveway... I'm going to move them and make an area that it kind of encloses where my soaking tub is. And I'm using rocks all along that little road. I know it looks like the tiny is way out in the middle of nowhere. It's not. It's just on the other side. Yes. Okay, y'all. So, um, that really is all I'm going to do. It's Sunday. And... I just remembered that I had done all that because I was like, why am I so sore? Why am I so tired? All I did, no, I didn't. That's not all I did. I did this too. <laughs> anyway, y'all know I love y'all. It feels like Tuesday, but it's Monday. Yeah. Because um, I got Matt coming. And he is going to help me um, fill in a big hole. 
um, we were going to build a root cellar. And we dug the hole when Bob drew when he made the, the roads and dug the ditches that we needed at the time. We dug that thinking we would make a, a root cellar of, of, of sorts. And we didn't. Some will fill in that hole because it's on the fence line. And Bob knew that. Um, the hole's not. The dirt that came out of the hole is over <laughs> the fence line. So I got to get that dealt with. So that's today. And two or three times a day, I come out and I walk around and not way out here. Just around my place. Make sure everything's in place and everything's working, functioning properly. And of course the swamp cooler in the greenhouse was not. <laughs> it was fine yesterday. So I am going to go get my tools and see if I can get that fixed. Um, Matt will be here about 8 o'clock and that gives me a couple hours. And I'm pretty much going to let him do the work because the rock moving that I did yesterday and all the lifting and the raking in the greenhouse, um, yeah, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired <laughs> and sore. So I'm going to get some work done today, a little bit. And I got to get some sewing done because apparently all my clothes are looking improper. <laughs> Just not, well, not all of them. My favorites, my favorite clothes are all too big. So I need to do some alterations. So I might get that done today. Anyway, well, y'all, the first time I did this, I cried. <laughs> this time, after doing it two or three times, <sighs> no tears, and I've gotten bolder with my tool. It's not even a good tool. I'm getting more, more adept. <laughs> so anyway, I just tested it, and yes, it works. Um, I wasn't really planning on filming. I'm just trying to get my work done. But I tell you what, I'm going to let you watch it when I turn it on. Howdy da <laughs> Well, just to finish that up, I'm back inside. Because last night on my my evening check, I went around and I walked into the one of my checks is to check the greenhouse. I walked in and I was like, why is it so hot in here? Oh no. And I looked, yeah, the pump's not running. I'm like tomorrow. <laughs> so, the amazing thing is, is that I did it with no tears. I didn't cry. I didn't stress. And I even got some extra work done. When I went over to Bob's to get my wire strippers, I realized the step needed to be adjusted. And so I spent, I don't know how much time, readjusting the step, raking rocks, leveling out, putting things back, <laughs> putting things away um, that were sitting on the porch. So I got all that done. And then I went and I changed out the water pump. And I think what is happening with the damp environment is that those wires are getting corroded. So... 
I put a little bit of electrical tape on there, not very much, and not very good. So, we'll see, though. But what I did find out, that pump did not just die. It wasn't the pump. It's the wiring. So, the two pumps that I have traded out, I have kept those because I didn't trust that the pump was bad. I, I was like, when I took the wires off and stuff, I'm like, this is kind of crusty and stuff. I'm thinking it might be bad connections. So, when I catch my breath and when I get my shoes resold again, that's a whole nother story we'll talk about later. <laughs> then I'm going to um, really start focusing on getting things repaired properly so that they hold up. It's just a matter of go back and do what you did better.
It's not going to happen in a day. I'm glad we've started early. Cause an extreme heat watch is getting ready to take effect. My water tank holds. So I think that's going to close out this video. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next week. My water hank. My water hank. My water tank holds. <laughs>